Anything here? Nope. Oh, oh yes. what are you? So close to town. The cemetery is closed, but we're to the governor. Sucks. Where are you leading me? Follow the wisp. What is this? Spectral dust. Ooh, more. What is this? Most Inspect. Of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Someone didn't want them here. Isn't there another thing to look at? Unless it was all going to be the same thing. What's up here? Hoof fungus? Pyrite? Pyrite. I feel like I've seen that in other games before. And it like lights up, I think. You maybe make an explosive out of it. Or right, go this way. Okay, so we just got some pyrite up there. Insight. Your bane rings will be triggered. Walk around to find the source, okay. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. Charles! Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Okay, so... Okay, so we haven't actually found the place where he's died. Take you. Nova. Oh. So it's somewhere over here then, maybe. Nope, it's gone again. So it's back over here. Oh wait, is it the wisp again? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform ritual. Seashore candles. Oh, so we need seashore if I candles. I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle. That might do it. Okay, what the hell is seashore candle? Oh, there's more pyrite here. Do I have to go to the seashore? More pirate. Oh, what is this? Grab you, grab you, grab you, grab you. Seashore something. Where are y'all at? Okay. Can we keep going this way? Everyone buried here died in 1677. The previous epidemic? Okay, 
nothing else, really. There should be seashore camp near the water. Let's go this way. Just go down here. Is there like another one? Or maybe I just never found like the actual one. Let's see. It says near the water. Is this not like near water? Do you sell anything? Help. Care to trade? No, you don't, okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess unless that marker showed me where the seashore candles are. See, but I still get that orange ring. Hello? Oh, come on. What am I stuck on? There we go. Um, I guess I see there's that thing there. Let's see, so what exactly is it that's over here? that we need to be seeing. There should be seashore candle near the water. See, now it's gone. Is it you? It is, so let's grab over you. Bye. Down you go. Grab you. Can't go up there, so we gotta go all the way around again. Okay, at least we have what we needed there. I really am just curious as to what the orange thing is. Because I guess at this point I doubt it's... do with that, although maybe, because it is really close. Okay. Force a ghost or specter to appear. Summon Scourge. Oh, uh, force it. Maybe this one? And we might maybe have to do all three. Focus and tail. Ritual failed? Oh, this one looks like don't want to head to do. Stain <laughs> hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me. The woman in white. Clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You 
You have no shelf, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Oh. Yikes. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? So we've got... Oh, his... What, he just had a fucking heart attack. Wow. Trolls Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's open to Job 7, 13 to 15. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Back to his grave. Is there another one? Unless I just have to do the ritual here now. Okay, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I guess, so I assume it's this one? I think maybe we just have to be. Now is a good time for we old uh, friends to talk. They be smart about which one we're choosing we based on the situation. Far. Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. the worries and tail here at last oh poor Esther I'm so sorry my friend so sorry for us all what happened what's going on here sad to say my dear friend I made a mistake and it cost me my life. Is Red ready? There is no time to waste. Um. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So. A ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickness. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. Oh, okay. If I allow you. Which I do not. <coughs> and here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Agreed. Its presence Agreed. felt strongest in the meeting house. The 
Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Damn straight won't. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws specters to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. Then it appeared to me. I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. She was love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport. Are we going to have to fight him here? Mentor. You know. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. <laughs> I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Oh, I like the rain. Death and the like drops it that you can see on her. The very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your I think, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. A 
Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. The ascent. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then I'll wait at the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. Ah, uh, sad. I didn't even know trolls like that, and that was still sad. My child, where do you think he is now? He's. I mean, he ascended, did he not? I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hand, his calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Without nightmares, preferably. Let's see. So we're just escorting her home. Did you guys come in from the same place or did you come in from another area? Because, I mean, the cemetery wasn't necessarily close to her home. See, or maybe it was. Okay, never mind. Just right in her back door. I'm sorry. Could we not have gone out this way? Dearly, tomorrow we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Yeah, let's see. Can I talk to her about Good anything night, else? My dear. Nope. That's about it. Wow. Okay. I mean, it would have been so much easier if we were just, were just like able to go out that way the first time. Cemetery is right there. Um. It'd be one of the banishers then. Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGray, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Web? Ooh, okay. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Have you been to the meeting house recently? Minister Davenport closed it. No matter. God needs no other house than his servants' hearts. I'll say no more, for there is no more to say. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are 
are a curious character indeed, mistress. <laughs> my dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business. Okay, so, so she's a literally zero help. Absolutely useless. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. I think it might have been you. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Besides, I have no name to give you. Great. Absolutely useless. I hope you get you hit next with the curse. With my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Let's go this way. Anybody else we can meet along the way that'll hopefully be more useful? Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte. Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. Oh, right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You what my ties are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Um. Oh, I guess she's a store. store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? Why does everybody here suck? That's about all we have left. Where are we, where are we to learn that helping this place? For the finer things in life, and we have where are we helping them? Supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling, only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle of yeah. this rain. Cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Yes. What yes, I am, actually. About the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze. And at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best vanisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. But I'm afraid I would be lying. I hope you get hit after Elizabeth. A very Elizabeth. good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? See, do you want to speak to me? Uh, no, you do not. Okay. 